Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss how to create a first uh, first of your Copilot chatbot and what are the different tabs we have in the Copilot. Okay, so I have already logged in to the Copilot using my company credentials as you know, private or personal email is not supported for the Copilot for now. Okay. So what I will do is this is the page that you will get uh, and once you click in new copilot you can give the name so I will just give a name like read the manual something like that and let it be English and if you want to use the generative AI then we can use it otherwise let it be over there now this is for the chat and for the voice what you have to do is uh, click on advanced edit advanced option and over here you get the voice capabilities okay so that is where we have but we are first creating for the chat one so meanwhile it will take few times to create uh, the copilot right uh, with many of the topics already been created okay so I will come once it is uh, been created okay so it has been created i get this message over here now what we will do is we will go through each and every tab copilots you already know this is where you will see the uh, bots that you have created okay so once i select my bot the topics so okay over here uh, you can say that topics are nothing but a main intent and the rest of the flow right so if i see select the greeting right so what it will have is uh, greetings related intents like these are the trading phrases right and then hold the journey right so what exactly the message to show and if it is the end of topic and if I select some other one right uh, like uh, over here it is asking for uh, shop open and close hours over here it is displaying that messages over here and then it redirect to the other conversations okay what other uh, tabs we have we have something called actions right uh, nothing but uh, it's like calling to the uh, power automate platforms right so where you can integrate with uh, many of the external components like uh, sap Salesforce, excel whatever the components that you want to do Entities is pretty much the same uh, in build fancy uh, entities are there uh, From age to color to everything right and you can again create your own custom entity over there Entity is nothing but uh, when you are asking for a specific information. Let's say the account number So account number is the entity analytics. You can have uh, how much it has been used Publish okay, so whatever the development you are doing you can test over here but if you want the same data to be available everywhere, like in your channel challenge, uh, then you have to publish the bot. So in the below section, what we have is few of the further skills, right? Uh, important ones are generative AI, where if you want to use, let's say, your uh, particular website FAQ to be handled or uh, uh, answered by this bot, you can upload the website over here. Right. Uh, similarly, there are a few other topics like dynamic chaining. So instead of creating an intent, you give uh, what you say uh, the initial. Uh, what do you say? How can you say? So over here, dynamic chaining means uh, let's say this is a topic. And in the topic we have training phrases and you do if you don't want restricted to this one, right? You can write a prompt to trigger a particular topic, right? And that is what uh, dynamic uh, chaining is all about I think I'm not allowed to do this okay. uh, And uh, similarly boost conversational coverage with generative AI answers So if I mark this one, then I think this one will get enabled, right? Yeah so this will be covered in the futures uh, video topics then we have channels so there are already inbuilt channels are available right so you have microsoft copilot teams and blah 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 so these are the lines that you have 
why it is showing no because team okay because i have not published so that's why it is coming like that uh, language understanding okay so right now what we are using is azure cognitive language services right by default you don't have to create or add any uh, particular nlp over here languages so by default we have this and you can add more languages for the bot right so these are the supported languages uh, from greek hindi and all these things are there and what else security if you want to add a signing functionality to your bot and authentication web channel security allow list all those things are there already so this is yeah typically what are the things that we see now what we will do in the next session is we will start developing the bot uh, with the use case that uh, i think i have already shared but let me open again so this is the call flow that we are going to do flight status and we will also integrate with the flipkart uh, web service okay yeah hopefully you like the video thanks and have a nice day